Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the automatic feature recognition and manual feature recognition tool in the Ketia V5. So this particular tool is used uh, when sometimes you receive the file in the uh, STP format and uh, you want to deduce the uh, what do you call the uh, specification tree from that particular uh, object or you want to make that object more simpler. So let's just uh, look ahead and see what uh, is to be done in this particular tool here. So for the understanding of tool, uh, let me just go for the part design workbench. And uh, <coughs> before I explain you this particular uh, particular object, uh, particular tool, I'm going to show you how the result resultant is going to be. So <coughs> this is the particular object which is having a, it, this is an STP file and you can see that uh, you don't have any specification tree for this and I'm going to show you how the resultant object is going to be so after deducing uh, the uh, what do you call the specification tree you can see that all the edge fillet and uh, the whole everything has uh, come from it so if you see over here now the edge fillets, uh, everything, it's been deduced and it's been broken down, that object is being broken down. So I'm going to show you how that uh, particular breaking down process can be done in this particular tutorial. Alright, so let's just uh, go ahead and create that particular object. So I'll just go ahead and uh, insert a center rectangle here. right and I'll give a padding for this and uh, so this in this particular part of the tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can create that particular part so that you can work on it so because I don't want to explain something which you know which is uh, you know if I if once I do this tutorial you won't be having that particular file to work with so I am just starting this tutorial from the scratch so I hope you understand <coughs> so I'll just mirror this part here and then I'll do the trim here come out of the sketch and then I'll just do a padding for this over here reverse direction okay <coughs> and then I'll do a pocket over here So that pocket should be concentric. I'll just come out of the sketch and I'll do a pocket up to next. Right. And then I'm going to do a pocket over here. <coughs> and I'll do a pocket here <coughs> alright and then I'm gonna select this particular face here and then I'll do an offset here
let me just uh, make this lines dotted just come out of the sketch I'll come into the sketch and I'll uh, do one particular circle here okay and then I'll do a pocket alright and that pocket is uh, gonna be somewhere till here maybe so I've just created this particular part for the better understanding of the uh, you know feature recognition tool here so <coughs> finally I'm gonna give some fillet for this so the outer fillet I'm gonna give something different and the inner fillet something different So let me just uh, give a fillet of say uh, a 4 maybe. You can see it's been filleted all over. 4. Okay, you can, uh, if you don't want that, you can avoid that. <coughs> and uh, let me give an inner fillet. So it's not really important that you need to give this much fillet, but I'm just uh, doing this much fillet to explain the scope of this particular tool. So I'll just go for one. Alright, let it be. So let's just uh, move ahead and do the further processing of this particular uh, tutorial. <coughs> Alright, so I'll just uh, go ahead and save this particular file. so automatic feature recognition and uh, go for create a folder called as new and in that part original so this is going to be our part file save it and then save as and uh, create another one part stp alright so STP files can be something which can be imported from uh, 3ds Max or any other uh, softwares like any other CAD softwares so I'll just save it as sorry this is not required part 1 STP and change this format to STP and just save it alright now just close it and open that particular file new part stp oh i'm really sorry part original and just go for save as in save as go for stp and go for the STP format and give save as and you can see this uh, converting data option is coming over here so I know what happened uh, happened previously maybe I might, I might have uh, gone wrong in some steps so I apologize for that and uh, that particular option is done and just go for open and go for STP now you can see that uh, this object is here but whatever specification tree is lost so I'm gonna show you how you can deduce that spe particular specification tree by using the feature recognition tool in the uh, part design in KTAV5 so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this is it for this particular part of the tutorial and uh, keep watching to know more and subscribe me like my videos and if you have any doubts any clarifications please feel free to comment on my video and please feel free to uh, write to me at catia.pro.user at gmail.com kitsia.pro.user at gmail.com and I'll be getting back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.